What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys already know the deal. Hopping onto that rank double ladder. And ladies and gentlemen, we are here today with Lugia alongside with Ditto. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. And shout out to my boy Jarrett for leaving this team in my Instagram DMs. Jarrett, you're the man. Thank you so much. Cannot wait to get after this team and try to get some wins on that rank ladder. But getting started with this squad we have ditto in that top left corner and ditto is a pokemon i never really use so this one's gonna be fun for me i'm gonna be trying him out trying to learn him at the same time because like i said i never use him on the rank ladder he's gonna be fun let's see what we can do with him he has imposter as his ability citrus berry as his item and then his only move is transform Right next to him is going to be Fighting and Dark Earth food with Unseen Fist. We can hit through Protects with that. Focus Sash so we don't get one tapped on. And then this amazing move set of Close Combat, Detect, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, and Wicked Blow for big stab damage. Middle left, we got Rollaboom. This Pokemon's a beast. Finally got this Pokemon back on the team. We did not use him in the last video, so we're going to be using him here today. Once again, Fake Out, Grass Guide, Knock Off, U Turn, Grass Desurge, and Assault Vest. That typical move set and item setup with him, but it works out so well, so why wouldn't we use it? Next Pokemon is going to be the heart and soul of the team, the Pokemon we are showcasing here today, and that is Lugia over here. Multi-scale ability, love that ability, makes him a bit bulkier when he's at full HP. Weakness policy as item, Arrow Blast for stab, Calm Mind to set up, Earth Power, and Protect. Cannot wait to show off that Pokemon, get him rocking out, and show him off to his fullest potential. Bottom left corner, we have Entei over here with Inner Focus, so we cannot be flinched or intimidated, which is huge. Life Orb as an item, so we do more damage with every single hit. Extreme Speed for first turn priority. Sacred Fire for Stab, Protect, and then we have Stone Edge for a coverage move. Final Pokemon is going to be this Tornado. He's going to be a support Pokemon for the team. Prankster ability, Land Sat Berry as his item, Air Slash for Stab, Fling to actually proc the weakness policy on Lugia and give him that berry. And what this berry allows him to do is raise his critical hit ratio when he's in a pinch. So that's going to work all around great and help Lugia pick up some bigger KOs. Tailwind and Protect as his final two moves. This Pokemon is going to be able to help set up team and help us propel to victory. But guys, you want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to showcase Lugia for Series 10. Okay, we have a solid battle here for battle number one. We're going up against a Reshiram team alongside Wimscott, My Shell, Rillaboom, Torkoal, and Rotom Wash. I'm kind of confused why he has that Torkoal, probably for trickering purposes, but that's fine by me. The Reshiram is really cool. Cannot wait to face off against that Pokemon, but I definitely think he's going to lead that uh, Tailwind with the Wimscott. So I think I'm going to have to counteract that with the Tornadus as lead. And then at the same time, I think we're going to bring in Lugia here and get rocking out with him. So I really do like having both those Pokemon. I think Urshfu is a must in most battles with this team. And then final Pokemon is between Entei and Rollboom. I really don't want to bring Ditto out there, but at the same time, I kind of want to do it at the same time. Let's, let me see this thing's stats. What's this thing's rocking with? Speed and HP. Yo, I really like this. Pokemon transforms into the Pokemon it's facing. Yo. I really do like a Ditto. I really do like a Ditto. Hmm. I really do like a Ditto. So <laughs> I might use him. I might throw him out there. But at the same time, I could go Robin and rock out with him. Robin is just great all around. But Entei is great here as well. So I'm actually going to end up bringing Entei. I just feel like he rocks out a little bit more. Considering if he goes into that drought, we'll have that uh, fire boost damage. And we do have extreme speed for first turn priority, which could help us out in a pinch. So let's see how this first battle goes. Let's see how this one goes. I think he's going to lead the Wimscott. So I could protect. I could tail him. We can do a lot here. We can do a lot here. I could calm my setup too. I definitely want to try to get off a fling. Fling could be amazing. Fling could be rocking out for us. Let's see who he goes into. He goes into Wimscott and Reshiram. Which is totally fine by me. I might just fling and try to get some damage off onto the Reshiram and then Tailwind the next turn. That could definitely be play. Or I can Calm Mind set up. Turbo Blaze coming into effect. And he could taunt me. So we just go into the fling. I say we just go into the fling, man. Flinging Calm Mind or flinging Arrow Blast? I could EP. So we just EP, man. We get off this fling. I, I want to do some big damage off this Pokemon over here. I could have Calm Mind set up. But let's see how this one rocks out here. I'm going to use our coverage. We'll see if we can do enough damage. But the weakness policy can boost this huge. The boost is huge. I'm kind of hoping Wimscott either protects or goes for Tailwind. He's just going to drop a Sunny Day here. He is just going to drop a Sunny Day. So Tailwind could have came into effect. But I think we should be fine eating up whatever, whatever shot he has to offer here. So Fling's going to fly out here. He's going to fling its Lance and Barry at me. Beautiful. multi is going to make us do 4 damage. 4 damage. We eat this lovely little berry. And we getting pumped, baby. There's my weakness policy. There's my berry eating. We're setting up with this Lugia. Did we outspeed this thing? Hopefully we do. We might not. We do outspeed it. So can we KO? Can we KO? Can we tell this thing to go home? Nope. 
Do a lot of damage though. Critical hit as well, yo. That's some huge damage all around. He's gonna end up dropping a heat wave with Joe. I'm totally fine with that. I'm totally fine with that heat wave all around. Now I can just set up a free little tailwind here. We know we outspeed, and I can just go into an arrow blast. I definitely want this res ram down. Let's take out this res ram. Have tailwind set up. I can definitely air slash onto the Wimscott next turn. I'm with these turns all day. I'm with these turns all day. He's gonna end up withdrawing the res ram, and we're going for an arrow blast. So I wonder what he's gonna go into. Gonna go into a flying mon. He's gonna go into Rotom with Levitate. Thinking I'm going for another Earth Power, which I am not. I'm going for a nice stab Arrow Blast here. So throwing him off a little bit. Arrow Blast gonna fly out here. Yes, sir. Getting off some damage on this Rotom. Yes, sir. Not very effective, but dude, look how much damage we're doing with that Lancer Berry. Doing some work on that. Putting him down to the Citrus Berry. And now I can. What can I do from here? What can Jeans do from here? This guy is just gonna go straight for Moon Blast. Take out my Tornadus, which is totally fine. Your tailwind is set up. We're out and about here. And now I can bring out Rollboom. I can bring out, bring out Rollboom all day. Oh no, I don't have Rollboom. It's totally fine. I could go Urshfu. I don't want Urshfu or Entei. Entei could be great. I think I'd rather go into Urshfu here. I think I'd rather rip up with Urshfu. Drop a nice Wicked Blow into that Rotom. And then slide that Arrow Blast over to the uh, Wimscott. Right, I'm with that all day. Wicked Blow into you. And then just Arrow Blast and potentially... Pop the focus sash for his whim Scott. Is he gonna tailwind yet? Is he rocking out with a tailwind? He can't go for a water move on me. He has a sunny day out, so that was that, that just contradicted himself. That just contradicted himself with the sunny day. He's just gonna go straight for an Alice, which which I'm kinda cool with. I think he's just gonna try to get off a moon blast, but yeah, we're focus sash here. We are lovely focus sash. Can we KO with this? It's gonna be close here. Take him out. Yes, sir, yo. Dude, he's so strong, man. Not very effective. Yo, the crits are coming out like crazy because of the Lancet, Barry. We're doing big damage because we're weak this policy prod. We're just rolling out strong here. Wicked Blow is going to fly through here. I'm cool with that all day. He's probably going to end up dropping a, uh, a what's called here? A Moon Blast? But, oh, no. Rocky Helmet. That thing's Rocky Helmet? What you mean? Yo, what? That thing is a Rocky Helmet? Get out my face. Yo, get out my face. Rocky Helmet Wimscott. I was ready for my sash to come out here. I was ready for the sash to come out here. So it comes down to a... Is it 2v2? No, it's a 3v. A 3v2. Wow. And is our Tailwind up? Our Tailwind might be up. We have one more turn left in Tailwind. We can we can be looking pretty decent here. The Real Boom is going to get flying out here, which I really like. Grassy Terrain is popping out here. I'm trying to see what's going on here. We should have one more turn left in Tailwind, right? Right, one more turn left in Tailwind. It's gonna be lovely. But oh, we have two. That's lovely. We got the crit boost rolling. Look at all the stuff we got going on here. And you give me no reason not to just sacred fire onto you, pose that threat, and just arrow blast over onto the Scott. You give me no reason not to. Big guy's gonna come out here. That's totally fine. Are you gonna double down into me? Tailwind's gonna fly out here. That's fine. We have one more turn left in Tailwind, and the Real Boom should go down here. Roll boom should go down here, no problem. We have Sacred Fire, Stab, Super Effective, Life Orb, in the Drought, get the thing out of my face. So, he sets up a Tailwind. I think we still outspeed Reshiram, right? We still outspeed Reshiram, so I do have to get after that thing with an Earth Power. So, we still 100% outspeed the Reshiram, that's huge. Let's see Protect. So, I think I just have to Sacred Fire over into Wimscott, and then pose that Earth Power over onto him, right? That's gotta be my play. He could protect. Let's just see how this one plays out. We're gonna go here. I'm just gonna drop an Earth Power. That's my play. Dude, Lukia is strong, man. Really, really strong. We know Wimscott is gonna go first. So as long as we can eat up whatever Wimscott has, which I feel like we can, we should be fine. Or if he doesn't protect. But either way, we're taking out a Pokemon here. Dude, Lugia is a beast, bro. Moonblast gonna fly through here. I think we should be able to eat up this Moonblast, no problem, right? Easy eats, baby. Lugia outspeeds now. I dropped my special attack, but we should still be able to pick up KO here with the Earth Power. Tell that thing to go home. Get out of my face, and then Sacred Fire is going to come in here. Pick up the KO onto the Wimscott. That's going to be GG's, baby. Yo, Lugia? Yo, Lugia? Yo, Jared, my guy. You just made a dominant Lugia team right here. This thing is insane, yo. It's critting every single hit. Has some weakness policy proc. It is bulky as hell, too. Just There's just no stopping it. There is no stopping this Lugia.
Amazing first battle, we got to show off Lugia to its fullest potential, exactly what we want to do, but we're hopping into our second battle, looking to go back to back for today's video. He has Incineroar alongside with Zacian, Rillaboom, Regilecki, Konomo'o, and Suicune. So his team's looking pretty heavy on the meta, especially the top four on his team, and then he has the Konomo'o and Suicune, who aren't meta, but still very strong Pokemon. I definitely want to try to get Ditto in this battle, I feel like Ditto can be very cool. I'm going to go Tornadus, and I might go for Lugia setup once again. I think we can rock out with that Lugia, and then I'm going to go Ditto. I'm gonna bring Ditto. I ain't playing around. I ain't playing around. Actually, we might not even bring Ditto here. I think Ditto might be a third battle kind of guy. <laughs> he might be a third battle kind of guy. I think we got Rillaboom. And, ooh. I want Urshifu. But at the same time, I want Entei here as well. Bump, 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 bump. What do I want to do? Hmm. We just get rocking with that. We can pop him with the squad here. Same squad, but replace Entei with uh, Rillaboom. I'm with it all day. I probably should have led the Rillaboom. Because Rillaboom can take out Regilecki's in turn one with the Grass Guide. I'm not sure about this one, because if we have a Soul Fest, maybe we might need like a Miracle Seed or something to make us hit a little bit harder, but I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine with this lead. He might lead the Regilecki, and if he does, it's going to be set a little tough, but I might just Tailwind and Earth Power it. If he does go in with that, I think Tailwind EP could, uh, could definitely help us out a lot here. I'm hoping the Tailwind Lugia can outspeed him, because what, what's his speed usually? Like, close to, it's like 2 to 220. Let me see Lugia's speed real quick. Let me see your lovely speed. 178, yeah. Tailwind, you can totally outspeed it. Hopefully he's not Sash. Hopefully he can rip up here. Going with a lovely little Tailwind. And then rock him with his Earth Power. So, I'm going to hope this thing's not Sash. If it is Sash, we are sitting in a tough situation. Tailwind comes out first instead of the Fling. And hopefully EP can just jump on this thing to to go home. Earth Power comes out here. Show me the money. Show me the money. Get it out of my face. What you mean? Thing is focus, Ash. Thing is Sash. He's going to E-Web up. It's going to be huge for him. And do we still have speed? Do we still have speed? Hmm. What's going to happen here? I would love to fling this turn. I would absolutely love to fling this turn. There's my policy. We might not even fling because we already proc my policy. That's one plays out here. Snarl's going to... Ooh. Can also come out here and do some damage onto me. Though so, special attack drop. Oh, that's rough. That is rough. So I do have Rillaboom in the back end. There's my lovely little berry, my Landsat berry. We're getting pumped. I'm ready to do some crit damage. Um, I think we just air slash. I think we just do a lovely little air slash and we just we just drop an EP. Actually, I'd rather arrow blast just in case he swaps. Just in case he swaps for Regilecki, we might still be faster than him. Regilecki protects, that's totally fine. We're air slashing over into the other slot. Which I know we outspeed the speaking all day. But hopefully we can get a flinch off. Because that could be huge. Give me a crit as well. Give me a flinch. Just crit. Give me the flinch. Give me the flinch. Arrow Blast comes out. Gets blocked. Show me the flinch. Need it, baby. Give it to me. And he doesn't flinch. He sets up a tailwind. He even sets up a tailwind. So he's sitting in a pretty little spot here. A real pretty spot. Okay. I think we just... I think we just double down this Regilecki. So I think he's just going to E-Web again. And I'm just going to Arrow Blast over on here. We need Regilecki going. Not too really worried about the Suicune. There goes the E-Web. Bonas is going to go down here. But I'm thinking Lugia should be able to eat up whatever Suicune has to throw at him. Which is probably a Scald. If I had to guess, it's probably a Scald here. It's probably a lovely little Scald. And we do outspeed anyway, so Arrow Blast is going to be able to come through here. Get Regilecki, get out of my face. The Regilecki goes out. Uh, we can throw out our Roman. Which is probably gonna be playing. He's gonna roar. I'm kind of cool with. I don't mind. He could bring up both my other Pokemon. Or Shifu. I'm with that all day. I'm with the. I, can I bring out Lugia again? <laughs> I can if I want. I'm thinking of maybe saving this Pokemon. I think we need Robin out here. Pose that big threat onto that Suicune. Get ready for a grassy live. And Urshifu poses threats to a lot of different Pokemon. So let's see who he brings out here. Oh, does he have Incineroar? Mm. That one hurts. That one hurts. That one hurts. I click Robo. I was like, oh, does he have Incineroar? Ends up throwing out Incineroar. Getting the Intimidate drop on two physical attackers. Rough news there. Rough news for you guys. Real rough news. But the best part about it is we have Wicked Blow onto our Urshifu. Which means the Intimidate won't affect him every time we use that move. So I'm just going to be rocking out with that too. Unless I really need a circle punch. I think we should be fine all way. Or all around. Could fake him out. 
That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fake out and I might drop, I drop close combat. I think I'd rather just go into Wicked Blows on today. Sweeking. You know what? I'm gonna drop close combat on you. Let's get after this guy. Do him dirty. Do him withdrawal sweeping. Huge. Huge. So we're faking out over on that slot. Not going for the grass move. And we're gonna be able to drop a nice big old close combat on him. Big guy comes out. Bop. Going faking me out. Close combat is gonna be minus one here. But we're getting after it. Take him out. So close, man. If we weren't minus one. That's he's KO. Barry's definitely come, gonna pop, come popping out from him. Right? Yep. What Incineroar is not rocking the berry? He ends up eating up a berry. That's totally fine. And I could hard swap. Could hard swap the Urshifu. And just take a knockoff on this thing's item. Now I'm going to detect him this turn. Then I'll hard swap him next turn. And I will hard swap him next turn. There's the swap from him. Fine by me. Speaking to come rolling back out here. And we're knock off Konomo's item, and then we'll grace by next turn. So I'm with it all day. I'm with this turn. Iron Defense, he's gonna set up. You buttery biscuit. You son of a gun. What thing rocks Iron Defense? I was not expecting that, but yo, great play by him. Knockoff comes over here. What item are we holding, buddy? What item are we holding? Just leftovers. Okay. That's good to get rid of, but that's pretty cool. He's probably gonna swap back into the Incineroar. So, I might just hard swap. I might just... I might just hard swap. Let's try hard swap. Let's just U-turn with Urshifu. Or not with Urshifu. We will swap you and then get Urshifu out on the other side. We think he's going to Iron Defense again. He might, dude. That's scary. I ain't even going to lie. That's scary, yo. Urshifu's going to swap. I think we're going to see a swap from this weekend. The U-turn is fine with the Intimidate. No, he's just going to set up a Tailwind. You son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit. Body pressure coming out here. Can we eat that? Can we eat that? We can. Luigi's able to eat that at one up all day, but they take speed advantage. This one's tough news, man. I could have just glided on that thing. I should have just glided on that thing. I should have. All day. Get back on my Urshfu. And, hmm. Is he just going to swap Incineroar? I can definitely see a swap on the Incineroar slot. Which I might just close combat into then. Alright, what, what do we think we're going to see here? Potential swap into Incineroar. I don't know what I do here. Well, I think I'm just going to close combat on that and then just air a blast over on the kind of metal. Got to be your play. What happens here? Snarl's going to pop through here. Luigi he should be able to eat. And what are you going for? Go after my, uh, go after my Urshfu, please. I need him to go after my Urshfu. That's a must because we need Lugia to hit up and do some big damage on this Pokemon for us to win. An Iron Defense set up again. So we have a shot here. We need to get some big damage off on this thing, but we are minus one, which I really don't like. Iron Defense is setting up. Air Blast flying through here. Minus one. How much damage are we really doing on that thing? Not too much. Doesn't have leftovers anymore. In close combat, it's going to fly through here. Doing it. Solid man damage. I'll give it up. I'll give it to it. There goes our defense drop. So I could swap again. But I just, I just don't see that being the play. Oh my god. Yo, we, def we, we definitely... Actually, yo, Crick can hit through that. Crick can hit through the defense... Buff, so that's huge all around. It's gonna be not very effective, but that's gonna be our best bet. So I'm just gonna close combat again. He's probably just gonna snarl. So I'm just gonna rock out with this. Let's see what he does from here. Here's another snarl. That's fine. So Luki is gonna drop out here. Um, he's gonna have fake out ready to go. And our defense is going to be trash. Oh, our defense is gonna be trash. There goes the body press. Eat this up. Eat this up. Eat it up. Nope, super effective. That's going to be GG's now. Both show. Both show. That's going to be GG's. You know, solid battle by our opponent here. I really did like that second battle. I really did like it. I think we played decent, but, dude, they, he just had some stuff that was throwing us off. He had the Konomo'o coming in at an awesome time. And did we take out one of his Pokemon? Was he just not rocking a uh, Zacian? That's really cool. I got to give this dude props. If he's, if he's playing a Zacian team and did not throw out Zacian, or even put him on his team, that's amazing. Gotta love it. Gotta love it all around. The Great Surge comes out here. We get our Surge flying out and about again. Just dandy. We took out his Regilecki. But maybe we can take out another Pokemon to keep buzzing from here. He still has Incineroar. I'm just going to go for the Grass God. Probably just going to protect our swap this weekend. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what his play is. 
He's stacked up on defense. I can't do anything about it. He's going to end up with John Suicune. So he's still playing the game. I thought maybe he would keep Suicune in and be like, okay, let's just finish up this battle. But nah, he's like, nah, I, I need this win. I'm going to swap and play this one uh, smart. There's Intimidate. Grand Sky's going to do nothing. I'm just going to cancel the battle after this one. So GG to this guy. We're going to hop into our third and final battle and look for our winning record for today's video. We're in trouble here, ladies and gentlemen. We're hopping into our third and final battle, and we're going up against Xerneas team, but more scary, he has Togedemaru on his team. One of the best Pokemon ever. I love that Pokemon. Love using him on the rank ladder. He's so much fun, but he's definitely a big threat. He also has Tapu Fini, Incineroar, Regilecki, and Landorus. So I definitely want to get Ditto in this third and final battle. I think Ditto can be awesome. I feel like he can rock out all around. I'm definitely going to bring the Tornadus. I could lead the Ditto. I could 100% lead the Ditto. That could be awesome. That could be fun. I think I'm going to do it. Granted, I never really used Ditto, so we're going to try this one out for you guys and try to get rocking out with that. Actually, we're going to bring Ditto in the back end. I'm going to bring Lugia. I'm going to go in with that combo. I'm going to rock out with this Pokemon, and then Urshifu? I'm thinking Urshifu is probably our best bet. He does have he does have Top Infinity, which I don't like one bit. Not one bit. Hmm. So would I go Robum? It's either Robum or Urshifu. I'm thinking Urshi Ursh has to come in here. I just like this Pokemon along. He's great. Great little Mon. We're going to rock out with him. We're going to get ripping with him. Let's rock out. So he might end up leading the Xerneas turn one, which I could. I, I, I feel fine with that. He leads Xerneas and he goes for maybe like a fake out or something along those lines. I'm trying to think what I could do. I could potentially Calm Mind set up if that's the play. If he's going to Geomance anyway, we get after it. Like I'm, I'm trying to think of what we should do. But he's gonna go Finny and Regilecki, which, you know, I'm totally fine with that. I could fling. I could double down in the Regilecki, which could be play. I actually might just Tailwind and uh, drop an EP and hope this thing's not sashed again. That might be my play. Hope this thing isn't sashed again. Let's do it. Let's run it. Let's run this battle, because he's probably gonna E-Web. Dropping his seeds, his lovely little seeds, so I'm just gonna Tailwind. I'm just going to drop this lovely little EP right over into this this poor little Regilecki. So hopefully we're not sitting back-to-back -back battles with a Sash Regilecki. Even though, again, I can see it being Sash all day. The tail one's going to pop. We know Lugia's going to be able to outspeed, which is great all around. No protects are flying through. EP's flying through. And let's see how we do with this one. Show me no Sash. Show me no Sash. Let's go. Let's go, baby. No Sash on the Regilecki. We do get a crit, but we were taking him out regardless. Thing is a squishy little mod. So he's going to end up going with a Nature's Madness. Oh, dude, you crazy. Crazy, bringing me down to half, right? Doesn't that half my HP? Half's my HP. Do I fling over now? Do I fling over now and try to get another KO before we bring out another Pokemon? I'm trying to think. We could fling over here. We have speed. We have all that. I am going to actually send the fling. We are going to fling, and I think I just arrow blast. I'm going to go after. Who's who's more of a threat here? I'm thinking that Tapu Fini's more of a, more of a threat. Right? We have Urshu in the back. So yeah, Top of Finny's more of a threat. Let's try to take out this Top of Finny here. Let's get ripping on this thing. Fling is going to fly over here. We're going to grab ourselves a nice little Lancet Berry here. And we're going to guarantee ourselves a crit because Arrow Blast gives us the boost. Same thing with the Berry. So we're going to have ourselves a big old crit here. This thing is just critting left and right. And we get nice stab damage. And uh, plus two on special attack. Here. So you got to love it. got to love it. Arrow Blast flies through here. Can we KO him one shot? We might not be able to, but we're hoping. Oh my god, yo, we bring it down to like one. That's like one. That's probably two. Stone is gonna fly through here. That's gonna KO my Lugia. And we dead there. Okay, I'm cool with that all day. I'm very, very cool with that. I am very, very cool with that. I could bring out Ditto. I could totally bring out Ditto. Icy Wind's gonna fly through here, and it misses. Smart play would be to bring out Urshu, but yo. We bring it out Ditto. <laughs> we bring it out Ditto. Because we don't play around. Yes, sir. Yes, sir! Run it! <laughs> Run it! We are now a Landorus. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna air slash over onto you. Finish you out. And this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted his moveset. Let's sludge bomb over to him. I can do a lot, but I think Stone Edge is gonna be play. Let's Stone Edge him up. Let's get him! Let's get him, yo! Gotta love it. Air slash flying through. And we have speed. And we have speed, so you're dead. Cool. No ice winds coming out from you. And we still have Urshu in the back, which is huge. It's great all around. And I outspeed. My Ditto outspeeds. Get him. Yes, sir, Ditto. Yes, sir. Doing work. Stone is going to fly through from here. And he coming after, he coming after me. Yo, we eat that up all day. We eat that up all day. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. 
So we have Urshfu in the back. We have Speed yet again because he does not have a Tailwind user. And this final mod's gonna come out here, which is going to be Zern. I'm scared. I have to double down on that thing. I think I'm gonna do. I think we are going to double down on that thing with a Sludge Bomb. That's your play. Sludge Bomb and a nice little, uh. Nice little air slash. Hopefully he doesn't protect. I really don't see him protecting. Yeah, he doesn't. Maybe we can get a flinch off on him as well. But he's our big threat right now, so we're going to do damage on him. There's that. There's a sludge bomb. We can definitely tailwind next turn to speed. But yo, ditto. Ditto, chill on them. Ditto, chill on them. Yo, my main man. Clutching it up for us. We don't even need Urshifu. We don't even need Urshifu. Ditto can do this by himself. He can do it by himself. Yo, who would have thought? Who would have thought? To take out that bulky dang deer, you're going to need a little purple block. Ditto coming in clutch, doing some work, picking up that big KO. Gotta love it. Gotta love the boy, dude. But that's going to be GG's. We're just going to roll into a nice big old sucker punch here. Uh, it is going to be a speed tie here. But I think my Ditto can have a... Is it speed tie? Are they different speeds or same stats? It don't matter. He canceled battle. GG's. We go 2 and one for today's video. My main man, Jared, shout out to you once again for dropping this team in my Instagram DMs. I absolutely love this team. I thought it was phenomenal all around. Lugia is very underrated, and I'm glad I got to show him off. He just dominated in every single battle. Once you flinked him with that Tornadas, you got that weakness policy proc. You got that crit boost as well. You were just dealing massive amount of damage. And then in the third and final battle, we were able to get out Ditto and show him off. So this team was very, very fun all around and strong on that Master Ball tier. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.